Hi, I'm Terry Schmidt, bringing you practical tips to overcome the most common strategic planning mistakes. For over three decades, I've helped business and government clients in 36 countries worldwide to get outstanding results through better strategic planning and execution. Today's topic is no environmental scan. Charles Kettering was a genius American inventor and engineer with over 140 patents. 60 years ago, he said, I'm interested in the future because that's where I'll spend the rest of my life. Being interested in the future is even more crucial now because things move so fast and the world is so much more complex. Not having a way to scan the future environment to see what's coming can get you into deep trouble. It happened to Bill Gates. As you know, Microsoft dominated the early software industry and just about everyone used Internet Explorer as their browser of choice. Doesn't it seem logical that they should also dominate the search engine business? So how did Google get ahead of them? Well, Bill Gates later confessed, we didn't see the internet coming. Shortly after that, Gates set up an environmental scanning system so he could identify emerging patterns and trends and take action on it. He asked the smartest people in Microsoft to write reports about how they saw the future unfolding. Then, twice a year, Gates would collect all these and head to his private cabin in the woods for a week to digest all this information, then form his own picture of the future environment and where the opportunities were. You may not have a private cabin in the woods, but you can still scan. The traditional scanning models go by acronyms like STEPO or PESTEL, where the letters in the acronyms stand for categories to scan. I prefer an enriched model called SKEPTIC because it contains a richer set of categories an organization should consider in the 21st century. Let's walk through the letters in skeptic. And remember, when doing a future environmental scan, look ahead some three to five years, not just at what's happening at the present. The S stands for sociodemographic. What are the sociodemographics of your clients and customers, of your workforce, and how are those changing? K stands for competition. I know it's a weird spelling, but you know I believe in and support people who don't spell well. It's also a German spelling. How's that? So K stands for competition. What's happening with your competitors? What are they doing that can be issues for you? The E has a double meaning, economic and ecological. In terms of the economics, what's the purchasing power of your target market? What are factors like interest rates? What are trends in the economy and how will those affect your business? The ecological uh, stands for the, the going green movement and all the implications there. The P stands for political regulatory. What's coming down the pike in the, in the form of new laws or uh, restrictions that might affect you? The T stands for technological, the major driver of change in most industries. The I stands for industry structure. Are there a lot of big players or a lot of small players? What are the barriers to entry? Here, if you look at the Michael Porter stuff, it fits in very nicely. And the final category is consumers and customers. What's happening in their world and how will that translate into implications for how you need to do business in the future? Here's an easy way to start your scanning process. Put together small teams of volunteers around each letter in the acronym SKEPTIC. Then ask them to keep their eyes open for whatever is happening in that category. Periodically, bring them together to digest their findings into not more than two pages of bullet point observations per category, perhaps supported by reference and backup documents. This offers a gold mine of information to feed the strategic planning team and the executive team. So remember what Charles Kettering said and stay interested in the future, because that's where you and I will both spend the rest of our lives. If you enjoyed this video, check out others in the series. To get access to the whole set, drop me a note at terry at managementpro.com. Meanwhile, think big, plan smart, and act fast. 
to get great results. Thank you.